Grace Adventures 2020 ministry started out amazingly well. We just completed our winter blast season and over 1,500 middle and high school students attended. And what's even more amazing is the number of spiritual decisions that were made. Our retreats, trainings, summer camp and Dunes Harbor registrations were exploding unlike anything that we've ever experienced. And then, like you know, COVID-19 hit. Just a minute ago, I got an email from our Senator and it's not encouraging. And I, I can just tell you that it, it's very serious right now. I think you just need to understand that Michigan is one of the most restrictive states. Uh, all I would just put on that is remember, uh, you know, uh, closing is simple, trying to open is complex. Soon our registration started to cancel. We had to shift things and, and before we know it, for the first time in 74 years, we were unable to run summer camp. For 40 straight summers, God has showed up and changed lives. Mm -hmm. And I still think that God's gonna show up and change lives. It's just not gonna be the way that we planned it. And uh, I think I never thought in my wildest dreams that we would be in this place. Like, I just don't know a life without summer camp. <laughs> it's like as I've just been walking around campus, I just keep hearing in my head like this place was not made to be empty. I, I... I too grieve. Um, and I think it's okay to grieve. I have probably cried every day at this point, so I'm probably gonna do it right now. Just, um... As we're moving forward, we have to be asking the right questions. And so it's not, are we going to survive is not the question. The question is, how are we going to invest? And, and we have to ask the right question because that's where we're going to find our direction. And I just, I see God doing a powerful thing through this. That if we don't do summer camp and things have to change, what is God going to do? Because I, I've seen God be faithful to this ministry. So I just need to tell you all, I'm sad, I'm not defeated. This is where we need radical obedience and not focus on the circumstances, but focus on our Lord and operate out of radical obedience to Him in our dailies. The Lord has prepared a mission for us here, but He's also prepared a place for us in heaven. And so we have to make sure that people end up there. Like if they, if they're, you know, like maybe these beds are gonna be empty, but I don't want those ones to be empty. And so just figuring out how Amen. That can keep Amen. happening. Hi, my name is Steve Prudhomme. I'm the president of Grace Adventures. Thank you for joining us. In the next few minutes, we want to share with you what God has done in spite of COVID-19 through the ministries of Grace Adventures and where we believe that he's leading us uh, as we strive to fulfill our mission of impacting people with Jesus Christ in 2021. One of the toughest days in my 20 years of working here at Grace full time was the day that we had to let the parents and campers know we were not having youth camps this summer. It was awful. My own kids cried when I let them know. And then to walk around this campus, what God has given to us and to see the beach empty the outdoor chapel, quiet. It was beautiful, but that's not why we have Grace Adventures. From March 14 to July 9, this campus, this main campus sat empty. But we realized camp doesn't change people. Jesus changes people. And our mission is to impact people with Jesus Christ. And our mission hasn't changed. We have a God who does not change. In Malachi 3, verse
verse 6, it says, I am the Lord your God, I do not change. Again, in Hebrews 13, 8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we know without a shadow of a doubt that his mission carries on. And we had to figure out what does that look like for us in this season. And we know we're not alone. We've all experienced cancellations, things that we were planning on, not working out, being isolated, quarantined, working virtually. We've all experienced those changes, those uncertainties. But as we move forward as a ministry, we decided, I wanna give you this picture. God, God gave me this picture. In Luke chapter five, there's a true story about a leper who has an advanced case of leprosy. He is living in a broken time, in a broken world, and he's hurting. And he reaches out to Jesus. And he says, Lord, if you are willing, heal me. And Jesus does the unthinkable. He reaches out and touches the leper. He says, I'm willing, be healed. And in that moment, healing flows from Jesus into this leper and changes his life. I share that story from two perspectives. One, the leper. He, his very life was uncertain. He was broken and he needed help. And in that time, he reached out to Jesus. We live in an uncertain time. We need to reach out to Jesus every single day. I also share that story from Christ's perspective. Jesus was reverse contagious. The healing, the love, the hope flowed from Jesus to this leper. We are the hands and feet of Jesus. In this time of uncertainty, in this time of fear, in this time where we are unsure, God wants us to be reverse contagious. How are you doing that in the lives of those around you today? Here at Grace Adventures, our desire is to be reverse contagious. We want to impact people with Jesus Christ. And so I want to share with you 2020 and, and how we have pivoted in this season to be Jesus' hands and feet, to be reverse contagious. We believe God has been faithful, God will be faithful. We have seen God's provision. Yes, we mourn losing all of our spring school groups. We mourn summer youth camp not happening in 2020. But life goes on. Ministry goes on. We jumped online. We did family builder videos. We connected with our staff. We were able to invest and encourage other camp leaders across the state and country. We also rebooked almost every single spring school group and a couple of them even booked for sixth and seventh grade going into next year. Finally, we're going to have opportunity to do three women's retreat weekends this fall and we're gonna do two men's retreats that we were planning to do in the spring and we are excited to be able to serve in person on this campus. Here at the ranch, we've been able to pivot in a unique way. We were able to offer individual and group riding lessons. We were able to offer some training lessons. We also were able to open to the community cattle sorting and ranch roping opportunities. Really exciting, this year we went from two women's ranch retreat weekends to three. We also went from two parent-child weekends to three. and. This summer, we served more pony rides and trail rides to our Dunes Harbor families than ever before. What an exciting year at Grace Adventures Paradise Ranch. For years, we felt God pulling us toward family ministry. That's why we built Dunes Harbor. But this summer, our full-time staff got a chance to work shifts out here to see it and touch it firsthand. God truly used this place to be a safe harbor, a place for families to come away from the craziness and to get away where it was quiet, 
where they could relax, they could play, they could connect, making memories for years and years to come. We had the privilege, God gave us the privilege to serve a record number of families. Even with May being shut down, June, July, August, September, we served more families than ever before. We thank God that he's given us the chance to work at our main campus, at our ranch, and here at Dunes Harbor. God's blessing on our ministry is evident, and we have a deepened passion to reach youth, adults, and families for Jesus Christ, to be reverse contagious. His love, his hope, and his truth is needed now more than ever before, and we are grateful to be a part of his plan. I've been serving children and families through Christian camping for over 40 years. The past 24 years, I've had the privilege of serving as the President of Grace Adventures, and, and I can share with you story after story how God has transformed lives in children, adults, and families. It's exciting to see what He has done over those years. But this year has been unlike any year that I've ever experienced in ministry. You heard from Ben that he talked about the leprosy that exist and, and in our communities, uh, as you look around, I'm sure you see that all around us. The state of the family is, is being challenged like never before. The abuse, the divorce, the stress, the mental health impact, not only on the family, but our young people is greater than at any time that I can remember. The depression, the suicide, the increase in, in drug use are all around us. And then if you t add to that the what's going on in our election and in the race in our communities, and uh, you can see that this could be a season of discouragement. But I need to tell you that we serve a God that is a God of certainty, a God that, that shows up. He's been faithful from generation to generation. And as we look to 2021, uh, we're excited that our ministry team, the board, the leadership, that we've been working hard to find ways that we can effectively come alongside the family, our local church, and our communities to reach this generation of young people, to strengthen families, equip them to be tomorrow's leaders so that they can impact their world with Jesus Christ. As we move to 2021, uh, we believe that not only will we be ministering to people on campus, but because of the realities of the world we live in now, we're designing ministries that will allow us to minister to people in their communities, in their churches, in their schools. And, and so we're very excited for what God's going to be doing. Recently, I received a letter from one of our Winter Blast leaders named Diana, who uh, sent a donation in and along with the donation, she shared her testimony. She tells that when she was seven years old, she was, uh, her father was an alcoholic and he was hospitalized and uh, he had tried to commit suicide. And, and she's at the hospital when her friend's mother picked her up and brought her up to camp. Diana did not know what was gonna happen to her father when she came up to camp. And when she, she goes on in her letter and says, when I got there, my counselor just loved on me and cared for me and make me feel, made me feel comfortable and safe. And, in the course of that week, introduced me to Jesus, and I was able to surrender my life and say yes to Jesus. Diana goes on and she fast forwards to her adult life and she says, you know, I'm now the leader of a youth group of a church in West Michigan, and I've been bringing our kids to grace for over 16 years. And the thing I wanna share with you is this, that uh, as a result of that, many of my students have accepted Christ as their personal savior, or have surrendered things in their lives that are allowing them to better serve him moving forward. And she goes on to say how thankful she is for the ministry of Grace Adventures and how she can partner with us now as we move into the future. And that is the story of Grace. One life touched by God changing the world. Diana was touched by that counselor and, and her life was transformed through Jesus Christ. And as she fast forward out of her family and then into her ministry, she has been touching the lives by partnering with Grace Adventures as we strive to impact our world, Jesus Christ. You know, that one life touched by God creates a ripple that goes on from one child to one family, to one church, to one neighborhood. And I could share testimony after testimony of lives that have been impacted by God through Grace Adventures and His people 
of where people are ministering around the world, bringing hope that we all have through Jesus Christ. Grace Adventures has developed an awesome ministry and business plan that has allowed us to steward this ministry for the last 20 years. But no one could have predicted this pandemic. And for the first time in, in many, many, many years, we are gonna end the year with an operational deficit. And that's why as we enter into 2021, it's such a critical time. You see, there are many Diana stories yet to be told. Your support now is more critical than ever before to help us develop our campus and the programs to minister uh, both here and in the communities that we serve. The mental health, spiritual and relational needs of our children and families is too important to ignore. So we're asking that you would join with us uh, now and through the end of the year to help us to offset that operational deficit, to invest in our future. As we look into 2021, we are so excited to see what God's gonna do. We know that lives will be transformed. We know that doors will be open for ministry. And we know that God will use Grace Adventures to be reverse contagious and bring his light, healing, and hope in West Michigan and beyond.